Greetings fans of the Tranquil Sea of Math. This is my 100 subscriber special. I thank all of you that have subscribed to help me get to this point. Real quickly, let's take a look at the number 100. It is a perfect square, so we can take the square root of this and get 10. We can also look at factoring 100. And we see that this is 4 times 25, and that factors into the unique factorization up to order of 2 squared times 5 squared. If we look at taking the square root of this factorization of 100, we see that we get this inverse type of operation where the inverse of the square of 2 is just 2 and that gives so we take the square root of this the square root of this which equals 10 again arriving back at this answer so you can know that this is a perfect square or you can go through a factorization process and see that this is a product of squares and this is an inverse operation giving us 10 again you normally see me film either from this position or looking down at my desk. But I thought at this time I might give you a look around my office library here. Moving from this position, going to my left, you see a large portion of my mathematics library I also have uh, a variety of mathematics memorabilia, things that accumulate in a math office as well here. One of the book covers that I enjoy is this cow in the subway that is on the cover of uh, Dr. Blitzer's book. Continuing on, we get to another set of bookcases. I have some more math things that I've accumulated here. I have some books over here, which these books all have elementary in the title. I kind of like, uh, it's almost an ironic idea that topics are so elementary. I have some more books here. There's a lot of statistics texts in here. Moving up to this shelf, I have a lot of older mathematics books there. You see my DVD collection here and some other mathematics books. Over in the center here, I have my Lego mathematician. This is Margaret Hamilton that did programming for NASA. And then up here, this is a Native American woman that had also uh, worked with calculations dealing with the space program, I believe. This is a US $1 coin. We have my Dr. Malcolm slash Jurassic Park collection. I have my Jim Moriarty here, which in the tradition of Sherlock Holmes is a mathematician. And then I have a variety of other books that I have. I have kind of an unusual pet from some people's perspective. This is my 
pet chicken. Her name is Red. This little hat was made by a student of mine. This is the first video that I ever posted on YouTube. I posted it as a video that could only be seen by my students by invitation. And I think approximately a year later, I made it public and started to more actively produce my YouTube channel. Originally, my channel was just to help my students be able to practice over Christmas break to get ready for midterm exams. And then I have continued to develop it from there. When I first started, I didn't really have editing skills to speak of. I didn't have an editing program. I didn't have a whiteboard. It was much later when I actually did get a whiteboard and that added a change in what I could present and made for a different visual aspect to it and I believe that helped me improve. I also got OpenShot which is a free editor and started to learn how to use that. I had this one video about geometric transformations where I tried to add transformations as a visual aspect to the video and my skill level still wasn't what it could have been but it was a definite improvement. Hopefully my abilities continue to improve in the video production aspect. I, I like that development has happened and I've been able to present a variety of math topics. I've also expanded beyond just specifically what I'm doing in the classroom and added some other topics as well, which allows me uh, some diversity in topics that can be covered. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, for being a regular viewer. It has been a nice experience to be able to be a part of the math community on YouTube and to be able to share mathematics with people. Try to find some mathematics that you can share with someone else and enjoy that. Cheerful calculating.